Good evening. It is my privilege to join you tonight in support of the Council on Legal Education Opportunity Incorporated. I would not be where I am in life today had it not been for Clio at Emory University School of Law in 1968 through 1971. Thank you, Clio. Stacy, Yvonne Abrams, truly the steps of your life have been ordered by the Lord. You were born in Madison, Wisconsin. You grew up with your five siblings in South Mississippi and Atlanta, Georgia. You experienced the troubles, tragedy, and triumphs of a struggling African-American family trying to beat the odds against survival. You were nurtured and supported by parents who instilled in you the values of faith, self-worth, moral turpitude, hard work, the possibilities of education, and selfless service and sacrifice for others. You earned degrees from Spelman College, the Lyndon Johnson School of Public Affairs at the University of Texas, and Yale Law School. Best-selling author, entrepreneur, nonprofit CEO, and political leader, you have demonstrated through your career that service is the rent we pay for the space we occupy on this earth. Stacy Abrams, you have paid your rent and you have paid it well. You served for 11 years in the Georgia House of Representatives, seven of those as Democratic leader. You started the New Georgia Project and registered hundreds of new voters in Georgia. In 2018, you became the first black woman to become a gubernatorial candidate of a major party in the United States. The first black woman and the first Georgian to deliver the response to the State of the Union. After witnessing the mismanagement of the 2018 election by the Georgia Secretary of State's office, you launched Fair Fight to ensure every American has a voice in our election system through programs such as Fair Fight 2020, an initiative to fund and train voter protection teams in 20 battleground states. Over your career, you founded multiple organizations devoted to voting rights, training and hiring young people of color, and tackling social issues at the state and national level. In 2019, you launched Fair Count to ensure accuracy in the 2020 census and civic engagement, as well as the Southern Economic Advancement Project, a public policy initiative to broaden economic power and build equity in the South. Stacy, last week, in large part because of your efforts over the last few years, new voters turned out in record numbers from coast to coast to change the course of our national government resulting in the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as president and vice president of the United States of America. Now, therefore, because you have demonstrated outstanding leadership in education, diversity, and greater equality in the legal profession and society, it is my privilege to present to you in behalf of the Council on Legal Education Opportunity Incorporated, the Clio Edge Vernon E. Jordan Jr. Heritage Award. Congratulations and to God be the glory for the things you have done.